Hi, I'm John Storms and we're not done with the differential board yet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to experiment with the smart receiver boards in traditional mode. But before we get into that, if you could subscribe to our channel, like the video, and if you really like us, give us a comment. That really helps the algorithm so people that uh, can find our uh, find our videos. All right, so here's a uh, here is the configuration layout. So we have the computer connected to the F48V4 via Ethernet, and then these we're still operating in 32 port mode, meaning we're not using this middle row. Okay, that way we can get our 1024 pixels per port. We have each differential receiver. Each of these SRX ones gets its own port back on its own differential port back on the F48. So this one will be ports one through four, five through eight, and so on. No A's, no B's, no C's, just straight up. And this is called traditional mode. Then down here, the SRX2, I still want to hook them up. I These still will be on a chain because each one of these has two... Um, different has two uh, receivers on the board okay but it will just be a and b a and b okay let's run through the hardware setup so yet again we're running off of the falcon f48 v4 um, and this time instead of having as long of change as possible i'm having the shortest chains possible right so this SRX receiver, this SRX one receiver board is off of this port, port, ports one through four. It's only one through four. No A's, no B's, no nothing. This one is connected on five through eight, right? And this is called traditional, traditional mode. So this is how I did it back with my Falcon F48 V3, right? Um, this is, you didn't chain things together. Now, note, there's an input and an output port. So we gotta be on the input port or else it won't work. The other thing is we set that little dial to zero. Okay, that's how we say we're in tradition mode, traditional mode. And then we just do the same thing for each one of these. And they go back to the first four ports. Now, the SRX2 is two receiver boards on one board. So by default, this has to be a chain. So I have this set up as A and B, and, but this one is on its own port and also A and B. Again, the most distributed network uh, I can do. And this one, I can get the full 200 pixels on each port using the 32 port mode. Okay, But I'm consuming more of these ports, these differential ports on the F48 in the process. Here we are, we're logged into the F48 V4 Falcon controller. Uh, so here on the status tab, we have the board configuration set up for eight smart receiver chains. Okay. And now we go to set up the output settings for pixels. And guess what? Ports one through four are still ports one through four. There's no receiver ports, so it's just straight up one through four. That's traditional mode, nice and easy. So I have four of those receiver boards, so that's a total of 16 ports. So 16, that's fine. Then, if you remember, I skipped the middle row, and then I'm down, my first port on the third row is 33, but wait a minute, it starts at 17? That's how they number it in this mode. So 17 maps to 33, right? A little confusing, but you're smart. You'll remember that. Now, I have two SRX2 smart receiver boards on two different ports, so they will be A and B. So for 17 to 20, I have two differential receivers. Okay, so I have A and B. Now the same thing for 21. I create that one and another one, and we're that's our ports. Now I can populate this very quickly. I come up here, I put in 200, and then watch this. I do Shift F3. This is a trick from Keith Wesley himself. Uh, that he shared at the uh, Florida Mega Mini from 2024. See that? And it populated all of them with 200. These ports I'm not using, so who cares, right? Doesn't hurt nothing. Over here for brightness, I'm going to set it to 30%. And then Shift F3 all the way through. Click on Save. I go to Test, and we get the big moment of truth. 
color wash, enable, voila. Ta-da. Look at that. Look at that. This is 6,400 pixels being driven all by that guy, the F48 V4, with differential boards running in traditional mode, or at least these four in traditional mode, and these two, the SRX2s, are running on minimal chains. See, look at that. Beautiful. Let's do a flyby. Yeah, flyby. And then a pullback. Yes, very nice. See, fun. The experimenting is fun when it works. <laughs> wow, that was that, that was terrible.